Uh, no, we didn't do this last time, did we? I like this, so. Let's watch some burbs do some flyings. It's a Guinness. He is back on stage. Behind you, Josh! Behind me? Oh! Stand up! Hey, buddy! Yeah, so, terminal hornbills found in the forests of Africa. Now we are making a little human forest. That is what we are doing here. And now you guys are taller trees, and man with the green shirt, you're the bullseye, okay? <laughs> I'm just kidding, but you're gonna get the best look in the house. Are you ready back there, Kayla? I'm ready. Let's see if you can make it. Gear it up. He's looking. He's calculating. He's calculating his GPS. thing that a rat or a mouse ever sees because of Bye. that is Quetty, the Milky Eagle Owl. The owls moved in and the rats moved out. Oh. Yeah, well, hawks do. We can't forget about the hawks. I'll hawk through the day, out yeah. of the night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're our rodent protection. Wow. Uh, so every time um, Kayla sees something, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a no. No, 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 no. So this is a bit. What's a bit? The whole shoe tiny thing. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. I think I'm talking. I'm talking about. That's it. I see you. I don't even know no. what you're talking about. No. That's your rock. No, Kayla, can you just call him back? Neptune, get back to the rock. Yeah. Let's show. Let's Neptune see your rock, rock thing, okay? Neptune rock. Kayla, okay. Neptune rock. Rock. Neptune. Rock. 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 Okay. No. Like you. <laughs> It's my fault. You're looking at me. It's Lucy's fault that it, no. Are you talking about humans? 
Okay, that actually makes a lot more sense, right? Probably more so all the problems that humans can cause, and there's a lot of them, things like habitat loss. Uh, are you, hey, are you, what are you doing? Are you okay? Okay, yeah. habitat loss, misuse of chemicals, the illegal, why are you upside down now? Pogo, Pogo, hey, come back up here. Are you, are you sure you're all right? What is happening this morning? Okay. Sorry, I'm gonna give him like a couple treats for being up right on the perch because I don't know exactly what is going on. Don't bite me while I fix your perch. Um, okay, so yeah, lots of big problems that are kind of out of control, right? <laughs> out of control like a certain little cockatoo right now. <laughs> give me like one second. Okay, hold up, hold up, look. Look. Look, are you barking and jumping? <laughs> okay, let's hold up, look, come on. Will you listen to me? This is serious stuff that we're <laughs> Are you yeah, you're listening really good. <laughs> Thank you. The point that I'm trying to make is that there are a lot of big problems, but there's also a lot of people who are trying really hard to do something about it. Why don't you tell everyone what you think about that? Oh well, you did it. You did it upside down. How about end of the microphone? Yes, good news, that's right. So, Natasha, Natasha decided she was going over there. Her wingspan's about seven feet across, but her big brothers can have up to 11 or 12 foot wingspans. Good. <laughs> yeah, big bird and big job. They are found in Africa and they serve a really important place. It's a dangerous place to sit. I'm kind of like uh, nature's recyclers. Yeah, I like that. That's our friendly reminder to do a little bit of recycling ourselves. I think it will be a much cleaner place. You are awesome, buddy. Now she's going to show us exit, her exit at top speed. Bye. She's not very fast. That's <laughs> Natasha. Oh, wow. Everyone, this is Hope. And when Hope was younger, she grew up in the wild. When she was very young, she suffered a severe wing injury and was deemed non-releasable. So now she lives here with us, and she has the new job of helping us tell an important story. See, several decades ago, their numbers began to drop, and they crashed so low, so quickly. It was a real possibility that our children and grandchildren would never have the opportunity to see another wild ball eagle ever again. But then people, like all of us sitting in this theater, they took notice and decided to make some changes. They started to clean up the environment and stop using harmful pesticides. That played a huge role in their decline. Yeah, so it was people, just like everybody here. They were able to help bring the bald eagle back from the brink of extinction. And everyone's efforts paid off, and the bald eagle's numbers started to rise, and they rose so high, they were taken off the endangered species list. Yay! It's an important story and serves as a reminder for all of us. Every person in this theater does have the power to help protect wildlife. Yeah, and there are still lots of animals out there that need our help. Just like the blue-throated macaw, and this little guy right here, his name is Rudy. Blue third macaws are, physical, are critically endangered, and unfortunately, there's less than 400 of them left in the wild. But it's not all bad news. We're partnering with an awesome organization dedicated to helping them. They're called the World Hair Trust, and right now, they set up a breeding program so that blue third macaws can be released into the wild, and their babies can have lots more babies. So someday soon, we can see skies that are filled with beautiful blue third macaws. That would be an incredible sight to see, but it doesn't even end there. There are animals all around the world with their own unique and incredible stories, like Bowie, the knobbed hornbill, the bald eagle, the blue bird, the and many more. Yeah, and oyster, the chicken, of course. But you know, go outside, explore nature, have an adventure in your own park, and you might just find your own new favorite animal. And on behalf of all of us, especially those of us with feathers, we'd like to leave you all with one final wish. said 100. Yeah, 95. 95 minutes. 95 minutes of flight of passage. Can we talk about the favourite fun fact? 
down in here. Oh, they're not real water. How many waterfalls can you see? Uh, one. There's two. There must be three. Oh, there's three, yeah. And the top one. Isn't there not a real one, yeah? Both top ones are. See, this is not good footage. What are you talking about? It's sideways, it's down. You're not looking. I'm looking at the world around me. Then put the camera down. Do another thing? Yeah. We didn't do this one last time either. No, we didn't. I think I've ever like looked around in here. Oh, guys, look here. And uh, so we're at Narvi River Journey. The sign said 45 minutes. It is exactly 2:33. Uh, so we will see how long it actually takes. There is a drink station in here and a water bottle refill station. So I'm going to go to that. Blanket. We're in. Um, it was uh, 20 something. Uh, what was it? 33. It's and been, it's now. It's been 20 or 15 minutes. For a 45 minute queue. Good I job. I think it's just reopened. Maybe. So it might just be that 45 minutes is like. The basis, when it opens, we'll just maybe. put 45 minutes and then. Well. Oh! Your hat is glowing. My nails are glowing. Yeah. Oh, the sound. I like the footprints up here. mode anyway that whole experience um it's part of the queue for right uh, for the flight of passage the whole experience was not even 40 minutes <laughs> sometimes disney wait times are just somewhat different um don't know what we're gonna do now we'll find something okay what do we need to what do we need this lounge is hidden dad because there's literally a sign in the middle of the road but it's there and we're going in uh, it looks busy in there a lot of other people have found the hidden bar just seen Daisy Daisy's hanging out over there um, yeah it's a sort of like dino bash get up um, so that was Ron, R Restaurantosaurus Lounge. Yeah, that's not um, what it's called, but it's some lounge that's I did see that. outside. Oh, and there's the oh. performer that was playing as we came in. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was the lounge. Um, and da Dad found a, a TikTok or the Instagram reel that was saying it was a hidden bar. So he was dead excited about that. But there so. was a big sign outside. So there was a massive sign outside, so it's not that hidden. But now we are going on my childhood... My childhood favourite film, Ride, um, and I, the, we spoke to a cast member earlier, um, the ride predates the film, there's the soundtrack, stunning soundtrack, um, the ride predates the film but only by a small margin, they knew the film was coming but they hadn't, the, the, the ride was ready first, so yeah, here's the ride, there's Aladar. My favourite dude on three three toes. Um, I don't know why I remember that he's got three toes, but he does. His name's Aladar, and there he is. Three toes. He's got that. Weird one. Oh, he's got a dew claw. He's got two dew claws, but he is. He's got very human teeth, which watching it again as a grown-up years and years later. It is weird how humanoid he is. <laughs> Ten minutes, so it's four o'clock. Four o'clock now. 
There we go. Do some learning while you wait. Oh, see, because there's no queue, you don't get to stand in here and watch this show. There's a whole like pre-show that happens in here. I don't think it's going to happen though. Yeah, you hear? Oh, what's his name? What's the scientist's name? He's like Bill Nye, the science guy. It's his. It, he does the narration for the for the pre-show. You heard him. What could go wrong? Dino was not ten minutes. What did it say? What, did it say ten minutes? And um, yeah, the queue, the 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 queue was uh, after the pre was the pre show and the loading area. So now we are out. It is nearly half past four. And we're gonna do Primeval World. Hey spinners, it's Chester here, reminding you for your safety. You're in the dinosaur. to be safe. Great idea. <laughs> Hi! Hi! Oh, they're having a kiss. Bye! That's another bonus about sitting over here. Uh, the characters just wander past. I'm being censored. He is being Tell censored. Elon. Okay. Elon won't care. Nice. We're just by the toilets um, behind us in Dino Land, USA, deciding what we're going to do next because it is uh, 20 to 5. What time's our dinner reservation at? That would be a... Rainforest Cafe? Half past six. Half past six. Oh. I thought it was at six. We can go now if you're hungry and we'll just see. I don't think they'll let us in this early yet. Well, it depends how busy it is. It does depend how busy it is. Um, let us consult the map. What are you doing? I'm putting it back small because there's not enough in it for it oh, to be big. It's okay. Just, it's weird. Alright. Abdin stalks. He's Durlock. He's sitting with his baby. The largest toy in At least the baby moved. I'm glad the baby's alive. I wonder if we'll find him. There he is. He's a large boy. He's quite a large boy. Yeah. Ducklings. Ducklings. They're so cute. Rainforest Cafe. We're going to try and get in early, aren't we? It is only, it's only five o'clock, but we're starting to flag. Um, I think we've done very well, honestly. So let's uh, let's see if we can get an early dinner. Cheers, baby. I don't like cherries. Cheers. Well, 
like it here because it's the exact same menu um, just at the bar. So what have you had? You've gone for a mongoose mai tai. How is it? Have a taste. Sure. I don't want to be a pain, oh. but that's cool. Wow. Yum. And you've got a sirloin steak. That looks good. Good evening. We've got ice creams. Ice cream for for like late. For late pudding. Late, very late pudding. So we are. It's just after eight. Sorry, we're just getting on the escalator. It is just after eight. We got back to the hotel, um, went back to the room, changed into some swimming gear, and we've just been to the pool for, we were there for what, 30 minutes? Yeah. yeah. Like, just feet in the pool. Just looking for Towels, yeah. Um, just feet in the pool, chilling out. Um, but now we are going to go to the room, eat our ice cream. Okay. We're learning how to find shortcuts to places. Our feet hurt a lot. We've done 10, my feet 10 don't and hurt, a half. I've got like a spot almost on my toe. Mm. Oh, just watch it's not ingrown hair. Um, yeah, we've done about we've done about 10 and a half K. Oh yeah, good job. 10 and a half K um, today. Oh, that's a down, that's a down, that's a down, that's a down. Get in it. There we go. Um, and it worked out about 16,000 steps. So, I've done good. Well done. So it was like 10 pair, right? Yeah, 10 and a half right now. Um, Going down. Because it was 10.3. This is how I do, by the way. Oh, yeah. All areas. Lobby level L to west. Oh. Cool. And then first floor. Little directory. So. Good night. Tomorrow is Magic Kingdom. Mm -hmm. um, so another bus in the morning. And uh, hopefully we'll have another good day. See you in the morning. Bye. Bye.